Hey everyone, the Game Piece here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can take on the Digital Shrine and take on the members there and get yourself the new evolution of Two Eyes. So let's get right into it, everyone. So compared to the Fire Shrine, I would say that the Digital Shrine is a lot more frustrating to take on and take down, but there is some things that will help you along your way. The Temtem I'll recommend that you bring along is going to be Koish. Koish has a trait called Iridescence that reverses the type resistances for the Temtem. So this is going to be very beneficial as all of these digital Temtem that you're going to be facing are going to have a lot of digital moves that are going to be super effective against Koish otherwise if it were to have something like Synergy Master. On top of that, Koish also has access to Water Cannon which is going to be super effective against the majority of threats that you're going to face against these members here. There's only going to be one or two different Temtem that that water move is not going to be super effective against. In addition to Koish, you can bring along something like the new Temtem Psychrox or something like maybe a Zaubian or any sort of digital Temtem that you picked up for fodder, but really the best option I think is going to be Koish with Iridescence. Once you are able to defeat these members, you can make your way past them and access the grass area where you'll be able to find level 70 Golzi here. This is once again another potential leveling area for you. They spawn level 70, potentially one or two spawns of them. There also is a teleport point here if you want to go ahead and snag that. And then in addition to that, there is the new shrine that will evolve 2 wire into the new digital evolution 2 wire. 2 wire is a wind and digital type with some pretty good attack and stamina, some okay HP and special attack and speed but its defenses are pretty lackluster if you ask me. Taking a look at its traits though it has splitter which when attacked with a physical or special technique it prevents all negative status conditions. So if you were to get hit with something like a move that would inflict a burn or something like that that just wouldn't outright happen. And then it also has common factor which when entering the battlefield rivals and the ally get nullified for two turns. This is by far and away I think the more interesting trait that 2 wire has. The nullify is able to really come in and take on any sort of water types or something that's going to be effective against it like an electric type maybe too. It allows for a lot of options especially pairing it up with something that's going to be otherwise weak against a lead in uh, like a competitive battle. But that should be everything that you need to know in order to conquer the Digital Shrine and get yourself the brand new 2i evolution. What do you guys think of 2i? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you guys are interested in using this leveling location at all. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this Panku update. I definitely really am. It's probably the best update I would say that we've gotten for the game so far. But be sure to subscribe if you want. Lots more Temtem content, lots more on the way, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.